Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. So um, I want to do a video today about the Samsung Galaxy A7 Lite. This is an Android tablet. Picked this guy up um, about last week and I've been super happy with it so far. So if you go ahead and stick in an SD card um, onto this thing, and there's a little SIM card slot, you just put one of those little, uh, you know, pokey things in and you can put an SD card, then you can use the SD card either for storage. So if you install something like, uh, you know, a file manager, like uh, Google files, whatever, you're going to see in addition to your internal storage, uh, you now have SD storage and SD card to work with. I haven't put on anything yet. These folders just auto populate. So um, if you want to know how to format the SD card before you begin using it, you can either do that on an external device or you can actually do it uh, directly uh, directly in this. Now, once you've done that, one benefit is that you can begin moving over apps over to the micro SD card. Um, so here's how that here here's how that is done. This is just the default, um, you know, stock. I haven't put on anything funny onto this guy yet. So click into apps and your list of apps is going to populate. Now, people have observed on YouTube that, uh, you know, only certain apps are able to uh, are able to be moved over to the SD card. Now, the reason, as far as I can tell, if you think about it, once an app is on the SD card, is on a separate um, storage device. And I think if, if you have an application that needs to interface with the main storage on the phone, the internal storage, then that's going to be a problem. So if I take an app like AliExpress, it's pretty big. It's 246 uh, megabytes as Android apps comes. Now you go into storage and if it can be moved, you're going to have this change button here. You see how it says here storage use. So I can go ahead and move AliExpress over onto the SD card, which I'm going to go ahead and do now because that makes sense to me. Um, then you're going to get an export AliExpress thing and then it's going to be transferring. So now it's, you know, a quarter of a gigabyte. It's fairly big. Now this app is going to be moved. It's moving currently over to my SD card. Um, as far as I know, you can have up to one terabyte in micro SD. So you can install in, you can stick in like a 512 gig micro SD. That's going to give you a ton of extra storage. So, um, this is probably, as I said, on the bigger side as apps are going to come. Lagging a little bit here at 90%. I'm not editing this video for uh, for time just to show you guys how long this process actually takes. And I'm expecting any second now AliExpress is going to be moved. Now, after this guy transfers, I'm going to um, show you an app that I know is not going to move. So as you can see, this can be uh, a little bit laggy. And it says here the AliExpress app will not be available until the transfer is complete. So that makes sense. While you're in the process of moving the app over from the built-in storage uh, to the SD card, you're not going to be able to use it. So, okay, that's done. Um, I've got this uh, orientation changing app. It's just a little bit laggy itself. And now if I go into my apps and I go into AliExpress, the lag is just like it automatically flips over to landscape mode. Um, you can see AliExpress is functional and accessible. So now this is loading the app from the SD card. And if it's going to be uh, storing anything, it will be presumably onto the micro SD. But if you want to investigate where any apps actually storing stuff, it's really great to have a decent file exploring app on your uh, on your tablet or on your phone. So let's go back now and let's take a look at an app that let's say could not be moved. So I'm going to apps again. I'm going to get my apps list. And let's take something like Google Calendar, which is a stock app built in the system. I'm 90% sure this can't be moved. So I do the same process. I go down onto storage and now you see there is no change button. So this has to stay on internal storage. It can't be moved. So that's how you tell. So basically you're looking at your third party apps. As far as I know, that don't interface with key parts of the system. Those can be moved over. Anything stock or anything um, or a lot of other apps can't be moved. So it's not every app, but if you do have a decent amount of apps that are taking up a ton of your storage um, and you want to just get rid of them, then you can follow this process to move some things over to the SD card. I don't know what happens if you want to like change SD 
I presume that you could just replicate the storage onto another SD card and stick it back in. Like if you wanted to go from a, uh, you know, 256 gig micro SD up to a 512. I don't know how that can work. I haven't done that yet. Uh, if you do know, then uh, please leave a comment with how that process works because obviously once the apps are on the SD card, that's where they're living. That's where their data is living. Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to subscribe for more videos.